everybody. Welcome to Pentecost Sunday, the fifth Sunday in May for Children's Church at St. Andrews. It's great to see you. Well, as you can see today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about balloons. Balloons can be kind of fun. Okay. I want everyone right now to close your eyes and imagine that you are holding a balloon. Okay, good. Open your eyes. Raise your hand if you were holding a long, skinny balloon. I see those hands. This is the type of balloon that you can maybe transform into a balloon animal. Have you ever had a balloon animal? Maybe you've seen a clown make a balloon animal before? Yes. Balloon animals can be made into dogs and cats and animals and giraffes and all sorts of neat things. Okay. okay, raise your hand if you were holding a small round balloon. These balloons can be fun. You can bounce them in the air and see how many times you can hit it before it hits the ground. Okay, raise your hand if you were holding a very colorful decorative balloon. These balloons can be good for decorating for maybe a birthday party or a summer party or a baby shower, some type of celebration. Raise your hand if you were holding a big, huge balloon. I used to love these when I was fun. Well, my balloon is kind of a sh short, fat balloon, okay? It's a pretty color. It's a nice shape. I think when I blow it up that it's probably going to be a round balloon. But something's missing from my balloon. It doesn't kind of look like the others. What's missing from my balloon? Can anyone tell me? Yes, that's right, air. My balloon doesn't have any air. It doesn't have any life. It can't fulfill its purpose. It's flat and lifeless. I think I'm going to need to breathe some life into my balloon. Okay. I think this balloon can probably help us learn a little bit about the church. Like I mentioned earlier, today is a very special day. It's called Pentecost Sunday. Do you know what Pentecost is? I am going to read it to you in chapter in Acts chapter two, verse one through thirteen. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a noise came from heaven. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. The noise filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like flames of fire. The flames were separated and stood over each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak different languages. The Holy Spirit was given, giving them the power to speak these languages. There were some religious Jews staying in Jerusalem who were from every from every country in the world. When they heard this noise, a crowd came together. They were all surprised because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were completely amazed at this. They said, look, aren't we these men, these men that we hear speaking from Galilee? But each of us hears them in his own language. How is this possible? We are from different place, places. Parthia, Media, Elam, Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the areas of Libya near Crete. Rome, both Jews and those who became Jews, Crete and Arabia. But we hear these men telling in our own languages about the great things God has done. They were all amazed and confused. They asked each other, what does this mean? 
but others were making fun of them saying they had too much wine. And on Pentecost Sunday, God sent his Holy Spirit to breathe life into the church so that the church could be all that God intended for it to be. Before God sent his Holy Spirit to the church, his church was lifeless, much like this balloon. And before God sent his Holy Spirit to the church, no one was telling anyone about Jesus. However, after God sent his Holy Spirit to the church on Pentecost Sunday, the church started telling people about Jesus. Everybody. And it didn't matter what language the people spoke. No matter what language they spoke, everyone could understand what God and what the Holy Spirit was telling them. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people were added to the church. And the church was becoming more and more alive. And the church was doing great things all over the world. They were doing all the things that God commanded them to do. Do you remember your imaginary balloon? Close your eyes again and imagine that you have a balloon. Okay? I want you to take a minute and I want you to pretend that you are breathing life into your balloon. And remember, just like your balloon is getting filled up so that it can serve its purpose, God sent the Holy Spirit to fill the church so that the church could be all that God intended it to be. And so that you and I could have the Holy Spirit fill us so that we could be all God intends for us to be. Okay, so are your balloons completely inflated now? Okay, all right. Celebrate with me by bouncing your balloon in the air. Okay, let's say a prayer together. Dear God, we thank you for sending the Holy Spirit We thank you for breathing life into the church. And we thank you for giving the Holy Spirit to all who believe. Amen. All right. To finish up today, I'm going to teach you a song. And the name of my song is Holy Spirit, You Are Welcome Here. Okay. So I'm going to show you the words, and then I'm going to teach you the song. Okay. The first verse is, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Okay. The next verse is, come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Fear. Your glory, Lord, is what our hearts long for. Your glory, Lord, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. To be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. Okay, let's try it all together. Are you ready? I thought so. You ready? Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. 
Your glory, Lord, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. That was so beautiful. Let's try it one more time. Are you ready? Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, Lord, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord, your presence, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share a little bit about the Holy Spirit with you today. And I pray that you have a wonderful week in the presence of our Lord. Amen. Come, we do it. Come Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come upon us.